Hi guys, it's Tracy and I'm back with a new video and what I am back today with is my review of all of the new makeup that I was testing out in the month of February. Now this month was very palette heavy. <laughs> I had a lot of palettes this month so some of them I did not really get to test as well as I like to so I'm going to carry them over for next month. I haven't really bought mm, anything else this month yet that I'm going to be buying like to test so I'm going to be testing some of the stuff that I bought in recent months that I just wasn't able to get to like since I had my knee surgery and all that so I do have some things that I've used but I still want to use more to get a better idea of what I'm thinking of them so the first palettes that are up here are the four new wet and wild palettes these are the vi purple this is supposed to be like a dupe for the natasha denona lila palette i really liked it i liked all of these they were all really great i this one i was wearing in a video a week or so ago and i got quite a few people saying that it was really pretty they liked the look i used these greens i'm trying not to blind you and this is supposed to be a dupe for the ABH Prism palette, which was a limited edition palette and didn't have very good reviews. I have the dupe by Bad Habit called the Aura palette, and I never reach for that. But this one seems really, really good, and I will be reaching for this one over and over. Next up, we have the Stop Playing Safe, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona Tropic palette and no this is the one that i used with the greens yeah these two greens here and this was the one that i was least excited about but i bought it because it was on sale for like three for ten dollars so i used these two greens and the look came out so good i was like really really surprised so i did really like this one and that was the one that was like i was like this is my least favorite i probably won't really use that too much and i did and then lastly, we have the My Glamour Squad palette, which is a dupe for the ABH Soft Glam palette. Yeah, that's what this is. And this one's really nice, nice and neutral. If you need something for work, you can still spice it up a little bit with some of these shimmers. You could probably wet them and make them a little bit more dramatic. You've got this dark black here that you can use to make, make it a more smoky sultry look if you're going out so really well-rounded palette there so those were all hits for me and then let's see we have the two zodiac palettes from bh cosmetics this one is the original i know you guys have all seen these a million times but that's the original and the formula on these is so good i was really surprised because I have heard people in the past say like the baked shadows, that they don't like baked shadows. And I don't know that I have any that are really baked shadows, so I was kind of unsure of what to expect. But then they came out with the Love Signs one, and I'm like, well, everybody raves about the first one, this one. They have to be a good formula or people wouldn't be raving and they wouldn't have made another one. So this is what the Love Sign ones looks like, a little bit more colorful. And I have made some really pretty looks with these. So these, both of these were hits. The mattes are a little powdery, but they blend out so nicely. And these baked shadows, you do not need to even wet your brush to get full intensity. They are so pretty. So both of these were a win for me. I, I really enjoy both of those. Let's see, let's keep on the, Victor the BH Cosmetics train this is the desert oasis palette very reflective this is what i have on my eyes today and this one has highlighters in it as well this is what i have all over my lid here these are super soft and they're just they blend really nicely and the highlights look really pretty i'm not wearing am i wearing no i'm wearing a highlight from something else today i don't remember what it was but yeah, this palette is really good. It was, you know, launched a while ago, but I was making an order on the BH Cosmetic website and it was like $8, I want to say. And that, so I added it so I could get free shipping. But I really ended up, I really do like it. So that's what's on my eyes today. 
Let's see, what do we have here? I have two Juvia's Place palettes that I ordered when they were having their 40% off sale. And I did end up picking up the Tribe palette. Really pretty colors. I've only used this one one time, so I need to carry this one over for next month to continue using, get a little bit more use out of that. I have tried Juvia's in the past and the formula is the same. It's good quality and I, you know, I like their formula. So I like these, but I want to continue to use them, make some more looks, all that good stuff. And then I picked up the Magic Mini and this is what this one's looking like. And I've only used this one, I think twice. So I'm going to carry this one over for my March uh, use. Then we have the Morphe 35M, the Boss Mood palette. And this one's really pretty. And the quality on this one was really good. I've only used this one a few times as well, but the shades that I did use and the looks that I made were really pretty. So I'm gonna keep this one in my rotation to give some more love to for the month of March as well. And then we have the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. It's a purple palette. It's more like a pink and purple palette, but it's nonetheless very beautiful. And I really like this. And for those of you that care, there's a mirror. If I could pay less and not have a mirror, that would be okay with me. But this was a really nice palette and it has me wanting to get the Ooh La La palette, but I know I don't need it. That's what I keep telling myself. And then last up of the ones that I did use here is the BH Cosmetic Blushed Neutrals. This is a, an eyeshadow and a blush palette. And these blushes are very, <laughs> very pigmented. When I went to go use this one day, I mean, I had clown cheeks because I didn't expect it to be so pigmented. So I, you know, did my brush, tapped it off, and then went in and I was like, oh, and I like had to, you know, get some loose powder and like I had to like really try to buff it out and get rid of the, the colors. So this is an all matte palette. I didn't know that when I bought it. I bought this at Target on clearance. And when I bought it, I didn't realize it was all matte, but that's okay. I mean, this will be one that I will pull for when I have like an all shimmer palette that I need something to anchor it with. So really nice quality. I love BH Cosmetics, so this was a really nice one. Like I said, the blushes are very pigmented. And then I had this not really Kylie palette, but Kylie palette. This was the one that I had bought from AliExpress and I have not even played with it, haven't swatched it, haven't done anything with it. So this is gonna carry on for next month as well. And then I have this um, ColourPop Empty Magnetic palette and I have some um, shades in here. I have not used all of these. Some of these are Makeup Geek. Um, some of them are ColourPop, like this is ColourPop, this is ColourPop, this is ColourPop. This one here, I bought this on Amazon and it's like a pressed glitter and it's really, really pretty. But very, very glittery and it's, it's the type that you just want to kind of tap, you know, on your lid. But really a pretty kind of unique kind of shade. So I'm going to keep this one out and these uh, highlighters are ones that I depotted from the Pure Sculpt palette that we had gotten in BoxyCharm a while back. I just depotted the highlighters and then this is a blush from Ofra. So I'm just trying to fill this one up and then I'll start using it probably more regularly. But so far I like what's in there. And then let's see, oh yeah, I had bought the, what is it? I had got the Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. And I really like it. I'm just trying to get this glitter off. Um, this, I really, really like it. It smells really good. I didn't spray my face today, so I might as well spray it now. It smells so good and you can use it as a 
Prep, set, refresh. So really, really enjoy these. I will definitely buy this again. Um, let's see. So we went over the Wet n Wild palettes. Then I had the three uh, Wet n Wild cream. Well, this is the cream one I've been using as an eyeshadow base, so I really have been liking that. This one was called Putty in your hand in my hands. And then this one is Fairy Tale Ending, and this is a shimmer. Really pretty. I just uh, use it, put my brush, and then put it on with a flat synthetic brush. And then this one is uh, metallic, and this is called Ruby Heist. I have not gotten a chance to use this one yet, so this one is going to carry over for next month. And let's see, I bought this Tarte product. This is one of their chrome paints, and this is in the shade... I don't know if this is supposed to have a stopper in here or what. Park Avenue Princess. I bought this on Poshmark, but it's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to, I have used it and I like it and I would love to get some more. The color that I was eyeballing is the one called Fire Dancer. So I'm looking to find that one so that I can get my hands on that. But really nice formula and super easy to apply. You just stick your finger in and put it on and it looks like you spent a lot more time than you did. And then, let's see, oh, I already, this I'm So Lit Loose Highlighting Powder from Wet n Wild. Beautiful, love it. And then, let's see, the rest, oh, let's see, I had this little bag I had gotten from BH Cosmetics. And I had gotten the liquid, they're called liquid linens. These are really nice. They're super thin. I have one of these on my lips today. I think it's this one. The formula is very, very thin. It doesn't feel thick or cakey. And they're really nice. I like them. Now, the writing on the bottom of these is so small that... I, I even put my glasses on and I could not read what it said. So I don't even know that the name is on the bottom, but it's not on the tube anywhere. So been using these all month long and really like them. And I had picked up some of the Shine Compulsion lipsticks from um, Maybelline. I got the shades Spicy Mauve, Spicy Sangria, and Taupe Seduction. And these are all really, really nice. They're um, like they're like the color reach shine. This one is taupe seduction. This one is spicy sangria. So they do have a little bit of shine to them. They're not a liquid lipstick, so they're not going to last you crazy long time. But I end up if I'm wearing these, I just throw the one I'm wearing in my purse for the day and bring it with me and this one's called spicy mob so spicy mob spicy sangria and taupe seduction and i really like all of these i would highly recommend if you were interested or wanting to try them i think they're really nice and then when i was in sephora picking up my birthday gift of course i had to buy something so I decided to give the little mini set of the Fenty Gloss Balm and the Kilowatt Highlighter in Hustler Baby. So I'm going to keep these in my rotation. And that's the Gloss Balm. So I'll be testing out all those for the month as well. And then for the foundations, I think I already mentioned I got the Wet n Wild Stick Foundation and the Revlon Candid Foundation. I ended up getting this for $2 with coupons and extra care buck. No, I didn't even have to use extra care buck. I just used coupons on this and I got it for $2. And then this, so I'm going to test these out in the month of March. And we'll see how my skin's doing. Hopefully it won't be reacting and acting crazy. And then I had gotten these e.l.f. These are the Line and Define eye tapes. I had these for a while, but I haven't even opened them yet. So I'll try to get to them in March and see how I like them and how they work. And then I bought these two Koki du Eye Duos. They have... Um, let me see. These are hard to open. They have a like a cream on the top here. 
And then you just put the cream down. It's kind of like a shimmery. And then you go to the bottom, which again is hard to open. It has this sponge in there. I don't know why, but it says don't throw it away. And you get the, the pigment out. And then you can put it over the cream base. And, you know, not supposed to have much fallout and all that good stuff, but I haven't tried them yet. I've just been busy. And then this one is in haze. And then this one is a gold one. And this is called Steal the Show. So I'm going to try to get to these next month as well. Hopefully. I, I haven't bought anything really new. So I, I don't have a bunch of stuff like I did last month. And then last month, because I was carrying over from having my knee surgery. I wasn't wearing a ton of makeup, so that didn't help things either. And the last thing I have that I have already tried, but I'll just keep it in my rotation, is this natural face palette. And this is really, really pretty. It has a nice mirror in it. And I like the way the box closes. It, it's like a magnetic closure I think but this is a dupe for the Too Faced natural is it not natural love the Too Faced natural something face palette so you get two highlighters my son is fading <laughs> and then you get two blushes this pink one is very, very intense. It's very intense. And then the other one is more of a brown, which I really like. So there's those. And then the last two are bronzers. One is matte and one is very, very glowy. So if you had a deeper skin tone, I'm sure you could probably use it as a highlighter. So this is the glowy one. You can see it on my finger, and this is the matte one. So let's see. See how glowy that is? I think I put it over the lipstick swatch. And then this is the matte one. Let's see. So yeah, if you have deeper skin tone, that would definitely work as a highlighter. I don't know that... I would wear that as a bronzer. I, I Maybe I will use it on my eyes, I guess. But this is by the company C Color. You guys have probably been seeing uh, dupes all over from this company. They've been sending out their products to some people for them to test. So everybody's been showing them and using them. And the funny thing is, is I got this at Burlington. <laughs> I was in there with my daughter the other day and I saw this and then I looked and I, I knew I had seen this packaging before and I was like, that looks like C color. And I picked it up and I'm like, and I looked on the back and I'm like, sure enough, yeah, it's C color cosmetics. And I'm like, why is this at Burlington? They're like not, they're like a new company. And it was $4.99 and these are like $12.50 or $12.99 on their website, I think. And they did have two, uh, I, one must be a lighter, one must be a darker. I don't know which one I got, but this is the one I picked up. And it's just called the Natural Face Palette Highlighter and Blush. So they're just saying it's highlighters and blush, but the one for me would be a bronzer. So $4.99, I thought that was a really great deal. So I've used this three times already. I, it is what I have on my face today and it's really nice so yeah so those are the products that i've tried and the products that i'm gonna try or i'm gonna carry over to try so if you guys see anything that you really want to see me use i could use it on camera if you want and i could just do like a quick video showing you or if you want swatches in anything just let me know i didn't want to do that because then the video would be like an hour long but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the monthly makeup wrap up.
So I hope you enjoy these type or style of videos where I just kind of put everything together and let you know what worked, what didn't, or what I didn't get to use. So if you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Mister's on the floor looking at me. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all having a great day or night wherever you are. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. It's